Hello, boys and girls. Are you ready for another fun week of learning? I know I am. Well, last week we were learning about seeds. And what happens when you plant a seed? What does it, be it become? Can you tell me? Yes, good job. It becomes a plant. So this week we're going to talk about plants and planting more. And so what is a plant? And here is here are some plants. A plant is a living thing, just like us. It's a living thing. A plant needs light, which is the sunlight, and water to live. So you can water the plant or the rain can water the plant. Most plants have leaves, right? You see the leaves on the plants, but some do not, like a cactus. No leaves, cactus. Plants use light to make sugar, which gives them energy. Plants can get very big, like this tree, or stay, stay very small, like this little plant. Animals eat them to get energy. So animals eat plants. Here's a giraffe eating plants. Do you know other animals that eat plants? Hmm. Excellent, yes, like bunnies and deers. And so do you. Kids eat plants. Adults eat plants. What kind of plants do you eat? Hmm. Think about that right now. What type of plants do you eat? Now, plants are very important. And there are different types of plants. And I'm going to show you the different types of plants there are. And I hope you enjoy this PowerPoint I put together for you to show you. Now, types of plants. So you see there's some trees and some plants with leaves and flowers. And those are types of plants. And let's find out the names. We have trees. Tallest and strongest plants has a single stem called a trunk. And I'm going to show you a few different types of trees. So we have a pine tree. Can you say pine tree? Good. We have a oak tree. Can you say oak tree? And we have a maple tree. Can you say maple tree? Good. The next one is called shrubs. Woody plants, which is smaller than a tree and has several main stems. So we have a rose shrub rose bush we have a high bush blueberry and we have a banana shrub can you say rose bush can you say high bush blueberry can you say banana shrub excellent the next type of plant is herbs any plant with leaves, seeds, or flowers used for flavoring food, medicine, or perfume. So we have parsley. Can you say parsley? And we have mint. Can you say mint? Good. And we have lavender. Can you say lavender? Good. So parsley is used in your food. Mint could be used in your toothpaste or your food, and lavender is usually used in soaps and perfume. The next one is called climbers. Climbers are plants which climb up trees and other tall objects. Many of them are vines. So we have a grapevine. Can you say grapevine? Good. Then we have a sky vine. Can you say sky vine? Excellent. And the next one is a honeysuckle. You see the different type of climbers? Can you say honeysuckle? Good. Our next one is called flowering. These are plants that has flowers and produces seeds. So we have sunflower. Can you say sunflower? And we have tulip. Can you say tulip? Good. And we have a daisy. Can you say daisy? Excellent. Now some flowers 
become fruits, we enjoy to eat. So flowers that become fruits. Hmm. I'm going to show you three of them. So we have a peach. And this is what a beautiful peach blossom looks like. And after it's a peach blossom, it will turn into a peach on the tree. The next one is an apple. And here's the beautiful apple blossom. After it's an apple blossom, it becomes a delicious apple on a tree to eat. And next is, ooh, yummy, watermelon. And this is a watermelon blossom. The watermelon blossom becomes a watermelon on a vine. Good, so ready? We're gonna continue. Now we're gonna show vegetables. Now, these are vegetables we grow. We're gonna learn more about the different parts of a plant that we eat. So we have carrots, can you say carrots? And we have green beans, can you say green beans? And we have radishes, can you say radish? Excellent. So those are the plants, different types of plants. And I hope you like that. That was a lot of fun to learn what are the different types of plants. And now we need to know how do plants grow. And I have a book for you. So I'm going to read you this book. And I want you to pay close, question, close to it. Pay very close attention to the book. It's called How Do Plants Grow? Almost all plants need the sun to grow. Remember that, right? Most plants also need water and good soil. Plants have many parts that help them get what they need to grow. So let's find out those parts. Most plants have roots, and they need the roots to drink the water from the soil. Mm. See the roots? Most plants have stems. See the stem? So the water goes into the roots and goes up to the stem. Roots and stems carry water from the soil to the plant. And carrots are roots, and we like to eat carrots. Most plants have leaves. And remember, the leaves is what the sunlight goes on, and the leaves take the sunlight in to help make sugar for the plant. Leaves collect sunlight. You see? Ms. Melanie was right. <laughs> Green plants change sunlight, air, and water into food. So that's how they get their food. Plants use the food they make to live and grow. Now I'm going to ask you three questions. Can you name the parts of a plant? Hmm, think about that. What do the parts do? Think about that too. How is the sun important to plants? Think about that one too. There are many different types of plants. They can grow outside in gardens, in greenhouses, and even inside our homes, right? So, do some of you have plants inside your homes? Can you tell your teachers in a video what type of plants you have at home? I would like you to draw a picture of a plant. It can be a tree, shrub, herbs, climber, flowers, it could be fruits or vegetables if you want. It is up to you, my friends. Cannot wait to see what you draw. Hope you enjoyed this lesson and wait until you see all the rest of the lessons for the rest of this week. You'll have a lot of fun. See you soon. Bye.